Today is Wednesday, September the 25th. A look at FinViz tells us that the volume was a little bit higher than our average. Um, the average that we've seen, but a little less than relative volume. The NASDAQ was pretty darn close. The advancers led decliners 55 to 38. So that's going to take our McClellan oscillator up a little bit. Uh, so it had touched the zero line. Now it'll bounce back up a little bit. I still think it's a dead cat bounce. Uh, the market responded to a tweet from Trump who said that the China deal could come soon. I mean, that's just total nonsense. That was just meant to divert from other things that are worse in the headlines. We've just heard this so many times before. We're 90% there only to say uh, that the Chinese have walked away a few days later. I mean, the market is susceptible and they may come and take the carpet out from under us tomorrow. But in the meantime, we did have a bounce off the gap and it's what it is. Um, Chiku Span doesn't tell us too much. Let's go to the one week. We haven't looked at that in a while and uh, not a lot to tell there by the Chiku Span and the cloud. Uh, but the cloud is starting to flatten out um, 20 some days into the future. Let's take a look at Apple. Apple had a big day, $3.32. Um, I thought that they were going to slowly move down. They are moving in a relative little bit of a channel here, and we're going to draw that channel and keep an eye on it. Uh, where's our little channel marker? There it is. Uh, we're going to draw this little channel here and keep an eye on it. That's roughly the channel that we want to take a look at. Um, Caterpillar was looking bad, but got a, a grab on the 50 SMA to finish above the 50 EMA. Um, I'm looking for it to move up. China News will help it, but this is just temporary. Now, GDX, that's what hurt me today because it's only that in Caterpillar that I'm holding right now. Um, but it got a solid uh, support on the cloud. You can see that some point in the day it penetrated the cloud, but it came back up to close on top of the cloud. Very important. Now, where is the Chiku Span? Look at the Chiku Span. It came back and found support on the 8 EMA, or roughly at the top of this candle. And that's what these candles do. These candles act as resistance when the Chiku Span is underneath, and they act as support when the Chiku Span is above. So this still isn't bad news, but the Chiku Span could sneak through here and this would be bad news for GDX, particularly if it loses the 50 uh, EMA. So we're going to keep a close watch on that, but for the time being, we're still sitting on the cloud. T had a flat day. It didn't go up, it didn't go down, it ended at exactly the same place, just below the 8 EMA. Not quite time to jump back into this one. Whirlpool, strong day. Is it going to break out of this bull flag? Well, we'll see. If it does, its target is going to be 152.50 or, you know, wherever the close was, maybe right here. We had a close um, of 152.76, but close enough to a previous high right over here that that's where it would be headed to and then we'd get resistance. So no point jumping into that one. I'm not going to cover snap anymore. This is an inverse, uh, this is a hammer. So not inverse hammer, this is a hammer. Uh, this does signal that it's going down. So let me put this uh, little arrow here and let's see if I'm right. I think it's going down. Um, what did we not cover? Uh, I haven't covered WDC in a while and it had its bull flag and it failed its bull flag. Uh, so we can sit and wait on that one for a while longer. Uh, that is pretty much it for today. S&P, I just think that this is a fake. Um, the Chinese press overnight is bound to say something. Uh, why should they make a deal with a president who is in impeachment hearings? It doesn't make any sense. They certainly are not in any mood to do him any favors. That's my take on it. Thank you.